cheesy, smoky, spicy, buttery onions. Tennessee onions, chilies, and smoke style. Of course, I had to kick them up a notch. The best part is putting these on a burger. Look at that, are you kidding me? This is a quick recipe, so go watch. I'm gonna eat this. All right, let's start chopping some onions. Now the classic Tennessee recipe uses all Vidalia onions. However, I'm gonna be also mixing in a red onion as well as a shallot. I like to just kind of change the flavors, make it a little bit more complex because we're making more of a Southwestern spicy version of this recipe today. So I'll get these moved aside and we'll go ahead and cut the onions. Really wish I peeled these ahead of time. After taking a five minute break to peel all of these onions, I am crying tears of onion joy. So let's go ahead and get these sliced up. All right, so we wanna cut these maybe about a quarter to an eighth of an inch, somewhere in between there. Make sure that you have a very sharp knife. Careful your fingers, of course. All right, now that I've gotten through the white onions, I am crying more tears of joy today. I don't know why these onions are really getting to me today. <laughs> the red onion, which is very untraditional for this recipe. However, I'm kind of weird, so uh, I like to mix up the flavors, figured why not. And last but not least, the shallot. This was uh, just kind of a fun choice instead of adding garlic. Now comes the fun part of making sure that all the rings are separated. All right, from here, I like to add in the butter, and the butter is mandatory. It's one of those things that it will actually help cook and soften the onions. I am using six tablespoons just about, and I've cut it into eight pads of butter. And that's just because I know since I've cooked this before, it's about the best spacing for the butter to sit across and cover all of those onions. Okay, from here you wanna season everything. Now, if you wanna go salt, pepper, garlic, that's pretty classic with some onion powder. For me, I'm going to use Sedona sand today, which is a chili powder with lots of seasonings. There is garlic, there is salt, there is some pepper, uh, lots of herbs as well. And I just wanted to give this more of a Southwest spicy flavor. So I'm using about uh, one and a half tablespoons or so. Kind of use your judgment on that. So it's about two cups of cheddar and two cups of pepper jack or any other melty cheese you want. You can use like a Gouda, you can use a Gruyere, you can use Havarti. I wouldn't use like an American cheese. I think that would be too goopy here. Um, and then remember that this will really add a lot of nice saltiness to the onions too. So you can see why you need a good um, oven for this to crisp up. That way you get all that nice crispy layer. So just make sure your onions are tucked in. So I'm gonna pop this in the pizza oven at 350 degrees. If you're doing an oven at home, 350 degrees is fine. All right, got the oven here. I'm just gonna slide this casserole dish in. Don't worry, I checked before I did it. It fits. <laughs> All right, let's close this up. All right, it's been about 35 minutes. And wow, that, that looks so good. That looks nice and smoky. We got some char back here too. Could let that go for a few more minutes, but I think I'm just gonna wrap it up and bring it in. Oh man, that looks good. Oh, ho, 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 that's looking so good. Whoa, don't get me wrong. I know that the onions are cheesy and crispy. It's got a nice crust on the top. We've got all the different flavors from the shallots, the Vidalia onions, the red onions, and all, of course, the smoke flavor, so I'm gonna have to try it. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> so This is a great side dish for any kind of barbecue chicken, pork, steak, of course burgers, but man. So I know the onions are good as a side dish, but have you tried them on a burger? Ho, 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 yeah. That's the stuff. Come on, that is mighty fine. We've got the butter burger of my dreams. Cheesy, spicy onions. I already know it's good, so let's dig in. That was a big bite. One more. <laughs> ah, the beard. Like the video, smash the subscribe button, and go make this recipe. It's so freaking good. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.